micronization. Here we are with pulse ionization. This this extra static. As you can see, it already creates a pulse in the pigment. Okay, that's it's, that's the beam right there. If I turn the lens just right, that's the beam. It's firing of ion. It's actually self charging. This is a kind of a brief assembly. What I have is an aluminum rod through glass with the uh, plastic core, right? So carbon polymer, silica, aluminum, copper situation, secondary. Yeah. Uh, this could be used either way. That could be, you know, and then that shit wants to fall down and that literally just pushed itself back. And, and as you can see, the beam has actually widened out from this right there. So this does no longer has focus, right? So then, put this aside because this would be like the assembly piece like that, right? So this would be like the crank. Well, this has a quartz oscillator, right? So actually, for this to actually be 100% feasible, I basically have to shift this kind of like this, or fuse this over to another system, which could basically fit in this. If I, you know, get really funny, like zoned into it, like making love to it, basically. Right, so that's why it stays there, basically, okay? Uh, yeah, that's, and here's the kicker of this. This is the remote grounding of these pieces. So, like, a passive model self-charges. This is where the hand crank, that just changed the focus. Yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah. That's, that's what's happening. It ionized this because it's a plastic glass. Yeah, it literally ionized this. And yes, it is just a tad bit off, so it, it's hovering right above stuff. So. Really, you know, it's not perfect. I just whipped it together. And then I could be like, is that too revealing? Yeah, I am charge, but this one is self-charged. He's gonna pay me for one minute.